Academy Awards are underway in Hollywood, and one of the most celebrated movies so far is The Hurt Locker, which has taken Best Original Screenplay, Best Sound Editing, and Best Sound Mixing. The Best Picture Oscar hasn't been handed out, at least not yet. But we do know The Hurt Locker has a Middle Tennessee connection to it. The high-powered rifles you see soldiers using in the movie were made by Rutherford County-based Barrett Firearms. This is actually not the first time the Barrett rifle has been part of an action-packed blockbuster. Channel 4's Larry Flowers is working for you tonight in Rutherford County with a story. It's a great movie. Rutherford County businessman Ronnie Barrett is seen here with the Hurt Locker director and producer Catherine Bigelow. The Barrett M107 rifle, which is used by U.S. troops, plays a major role in the award-winning movie. The Barrett rifle plays a predominant role in it. It's mentioned several times and has a, has a, a great scene showing the capabilities of the gun uh, in the hands of our U.S. troops. Barrett and his son advised on the movie. My son Chris went and worked with some of the actors. And this is their Kodak moment. Get the Kodak. Well, nowadays, the, 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 most of the Army troops and everything will get, bring the Barrett up. The Hurt Locker is not the first movie that featured Barrett firearms. This was the original dummy gun that was used in the uh, Sly Stallone's movie Rambo. Stallone used the real one in the movie. He sent this autographed dummy rifle used in a jungle scene to Ronnie Barrett. It's been a penetrating experience. The Barrett rifle is manufactured right in Rutherford County. Since the military has a contract with him, you bet your life these rifles are well guarded. And at $10,000 a piece, no wonder they're kept under lock and key. Ronnie Barrett says what started as a hobby in his garage has turned into a multi-million dollar company and now is proudly featured in a nine Academy Award nominated movie. In Rutherford County, Larry Flowers, Channel 4 News. Ronnie Barrett is currently in contract negotiations with a production company wanting to produce a TV docu-reality series about the Barrett story.